Hey Virgo, what's up? Welcome to your reading. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Something's off balance out here. Okay. Virgo, I feel that there is someone here that you've had a huge conflict with, okay? Could be dealing with someone who's got um, commitment issues. Alright, that's one thing I'm getting here. I feel you're dealing with someone here who's wanting to focus only on themselves, you know? their goals, you know, their money, you know, and this person out here is just very focused on themselves here rather than making a relationship work here. You here have been trying to fight out, wanting to make this relationship work out, but the problem here is that you're dealing with someone here who is in love with their freedom, okay? They're in love with uh, adventure, they're in love with just wanting to free, wanting to be free. This person tends to run away from anything that gets them tied down to, okay? And you've been in this battle for a very long time with this person here, and I feel you're giving up on this person finally, okay? You're giving up on this person here, but whoever you're dealing with here looks like this person here is someone who's very focused on themselves here, okay? Very slow moving here, but this person is still at a crossroads here. They're not making any move towards you. But um, this person definitely is dealing, you're definitely dealing with someone here, you know, with whom um, things just went haywire, okay? There was a very fulfilling relationship here. But something didn't work out in the past here. And looks like you're, you've been trying to make this work out with this person here. But this person just tends to be very, very slow moving towards you. Okay. I feel like um, keeping up a happy relationship or being in a happy relationship with this person here has become like... Um, it's a very competitive... Uh, thing here you know is what i'm getting up for this you could constantly be dealing with someone who tends to come off as very self-centered okay very egoistical very demanding here this person is someone who's very very uh focused on themselves here okay so this could come off as someone overly headstrong you know a very stubborn personality is what i'm getting here but uh yeah it looks like this person here is someone who's just fed up and you know what i feel you're even dealing with someone here who's just not into relationships yeah you and them you could be very happy together here okay you could even be married be in a relationship but i'm getting someone here whose relationship is just not their thing they're more about their money they're more about themselves here and you are coming off as someone here who probably wants some kind of stability wants some kind of commitment wants some kind of emotional connection which you had but probably it was something that just you know too many issues here and that's only i'm saying because of this person here this person out here is not someone who cheats or something but i'm just getting someone here you know who has an, ag an agenda of their own okay this person is always wanting to be very successful and this person success drives them okay to keep moving forward here yeah see you have a lot of feelings and that's what i was about to get to right you are someone here who has a lot of feelings for this person you come out to be very emotional to me okay because we have the um you know uh uh, the high priestess here this is water energy here so you're very sensitive here okay so i feel that you have you're more into that idealism okay you kind of don't see the reality of the situation that's what i'm getting here you're uh, um, very gentle you know all you want is you, you you seek harmony and peace is what i'm getting here okay and you're all about relationships cooperation you know being considerate and thoughtful okay but what's happening here is that this person out here that you're dealing with is someone who's constantly all about their money uh, themselves or uh, probably you know someone here who's just not about wanting to be together agreed this person does have a lot of love for you okay that's a given here but what i'm saying here is that you the, the conflicts that you keep having here is, is probably this person comes off to be someone emotionally very very detached okay and you're someone here who doesn't who's a very unpretentious person here okay you're very warm very friendly here and you are someone who comes and respects the world of emotions feelings okay and um and you're very honest, okay? And you probably are very uh, open and you always see the best of the people, okay? Because of your own loving spirit out here, okay? And you make an excellent lover out here. But I'm getting here is that someone here who does not have wrong intentions towards you. But it's their, um, it's their drive here, okay? This person could be someone, you know, who gets very bored very easily, okay? And um, they can be emotionally very superficial. You don't come off to be someone like that here, okay? This person uh, could be someone, you know, who could be more into, you know, that, that they um, they have a tendency of being very overindulging, okay? So probably they could overeat or they could just be like, you know, overly into drugs, alcohol or some kind of, um, you know, uh, whatever. But this person has a hard time settling down. 
okay that's what the problem is that's why we're here at the ten of cups so yeah they love you but this person has a hard time settling down here with you okay because their love for freedom extends beyond the concern you know uh, of anything okay they only want their freedom and they have a very very genuine concern for their freedom is what i'm getting here okay which is why things don't then things keep turning back around for you and you on the other hand here you're someone who's more emotional based more commitment based okay you're more someone like who's emotionally very attached this person out here is absolutely detached from you. Hmm. you're on hold you're on hold here that's what's happening here you're on hold here but this person looks like they will communicate okay they will communicate now this person could be coming off towards you as now i'm feeling here this person will not directly communicate for you okay like they won't like literally whatsapp you or something i feel this person is reaching out to you okay they will eventually and when they reach out to you i feel there are chances that this person will reach out to you probably this person if you guys work together there could be some work talk that they have or they'll just come towards you you know wanting or wanting to start off fresh but this person their major intention is to focus on themselves and this person won't give up what they've started okay so even when they come back towards you it is still going to be their main purpose okay you i feel here you are very very stuck here okay um to make something work out with this person here okay this person like i said comes off to be someone who wants to be free okay you will have to turn head over heels okay completely go topple the other way around to make this relationship work till you i mean it's you who's going to have to make this work okay this person's still going to be a little wishy-washy in and out all the time here okay because their focus is not you their focus is not relationships okay which is why you guys keep getting into this uh rift here you are going to have to do a lot of work, a lot of, lot of, lot of hard work in order to keep this person with you or to sustain this relationship moving forward here, okay? Because I see very contradictory energies out here, okay? Things keep delaying here and you will keep staying in this stuck energy out here because um, you're choosing, your, choosing to keep your stuff stuck here, okay? What's the hangman? Ah, see? You know you can move ahead. You know you can do something to make this uh, uh, condition change. You can change the scenario here. But the thing is that you're coming off to me as someone, you know, who's... Um, you're a very, very homely person, okay? Uh, someone who likes to take care of the home, protect the home, protect their family members, etc. okay? You're very protective. You're a very home person, uh, like a very homely person, someone who's very loving, very loving family, friends, home is, is what you are all about, okay? You're having a hard time moving away from this person here, okay? Why? Because I feel you are someone here who on, constantly uh, have a, you have a tendency to become a slave to others, okay? And you neglect your own needs in the process and that's exactly what you're doing. That's exactly why you're in this place here, okay? You tend to put on the work and the hard work into this relationship no matter what it demands from you, okay? You're coming off as being very overprotective and trying to, uh, you know, literally sustain this relationship out here. Somewhere somehow, I do see you as someone here, okay, where uh, you're being a little smothering also out here, okay? It's like, even if this person's like, screw you, or, you know, like, leave me alone or give me some space here, which I feel this person usually keeps on asking you to, you're someone who just doesn't want to let go, okay? No matter how much this person tries to push you away, you're like, no, 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 I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, you know? So, yes. You come off as someone very, very caring, but what happens somewhere, somehow, that overprotectiveness, caring comes off to be as someone very intrusive here, okay? So, uh, that's also what I'm getting here, okay? But you're stuck in this situation because of yourself here, okay? That's what I'm getting here. You're probably... Um, you feel the need to pamper this person you feel the need you know you're taking care of this person like a child here and that's something that you shouldn't be doing because you have a tendency to be very humanitarian okay and you feel like a very uh, genuine care towards this person here okay and you put this person as a person on a pedestal here but what you're doing here is you're doing your best to try and make this work out and trying to get this outcome okay but i feel you're dealing with someone here who has a lot of um say emotional issues okay um i feel you're dealing with someone here who's already gone through a lot in the past okay this person does not take action towards you this is a matured person okay but emotionally this person is still stuck because of which this person refuses to take action towards you the love is there the love is there okay they love you to the moon and back but because they are so stuck emotionally stuck on the past issues now past issues could be anything could be a relationship that you know that screwed them over in the past could be childhood issues whatever happened right this is because of because of which this person is not being able to approach you in a more emotional manner out here okay 
ace of swords in reverse i feel this person is holding back on purpose okay because this person out here is coming off to be someone who's very self-centered okay and uh, a very stubborn personality here okay you could even be dealing with someone you don't know who's, who tends to be very overbearing like a very bullish character okay time to time here this person for them nothing is more important to them than success okay this is a very independent person that you're dealing with okay and they feel this person feels that they need to make up their own mind about you and them okay and they need to follow their own personal convictions instead of you forcing them to make it happen and i think that's what you're doing here you're probably trying and you know trying to get this person say energetically spiritually manifesting whatever you're trying to push this person to come towards you in a way where it's like this is the right thing to do this person out here is like no no one tells me what to do okay i come to you when i want to come to you okay they enjoy being their own boss here okay so yeah that's what this person is coming off as okay that's a very uh that's a very responsible person okay but the thing out here is that this person out here is someone who's always wanting to try new paths take risks okay they like to venture out into the unknown on their own okay this is someone here who's like stand all stand alone okay which comes off to a lot of people as someone who's very standoffish okay so this person is someone here if they have something in mind which i'm already seeing here if they have something in mind here they're so determined and so self-motivated that they won't let anything stand in their way to accomplish their goal here okay and you on the other hand here you're trying to accomplish a family a relationship a commitment with this person which is why there are so many rules between you guys here okay give me one more card for who's coming towards Virgo and love okay we had two cards that fell out i'm not gonna take them because i don't know if they were upright or reverse give me one more card about who's coming towards Virgo and love For who's going to work with and love? Ten of Swords. <sighs> Definitely a new cycle that's going to be beginning between you guys here, okay? But like I said, you're dealing with an overthinker here okay this is definitely an overthinker out here there's definitely something that's ending between you guys here if not ending between you guys here i feel you are dealing with someone here you know who's um you could also be this okay i feel by the end here you will probably cut communication or you will just completely end things here because i feel somewhere somehow you're coming off as someone who's becoming very irritated because things are not going your way okay you could also be the one who's being very overbearing in this connection here rather than them here whilst they're just doing their things okay and uh, this person is not making a move towards you so you're being very cr critical about this person is also what i'm getting here that's something you're not being able to tolerate okay so but there's definitely an ending here okay something's ending here i feel this person doesn't give you what you want and you're finally like you know what screw you i think you're coming off as a very stubborn personality here okay this person may try to approach you a few times but it's not something that you want here because they're coming off as a very uh, offering you something very small okay very small i think you're still trying to establish this uh, relationship out here okay whilst well, keeping quiet because you're very emotional what happens here is that when you're in this high priestess energy because you're so emotional here you tend to resort to res resentment very fast okay because you always try to put yourself put you, you put the other person's needs first okay because of which you put your needs second you don't make yourself a priority here because of which you start overthinking over analyzing here okay and i think this could literally drive you into that self-centered position okay where you know what screw you i don't give a shit to what you have to do here i want this either you give this to me or you don't give it to me which is where i feel that there is an ending here okay but uh, i feel I also feel that you're being very overly critical about this person. Maybe you need to give this person a chance here because something's still not open. Something's still not, um, someone's still being very stubborn about opening up what the truth is here. And I think you're going crazy. You're going nuts thinking about the entire situation here, which is why it's leading you to a place where you're just completely reaching a point of burnout. Okay. Yeah. So uh, that's what I have for you. I hope this reading resonates. Uh, leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe. And see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.